And one of the greatest mistakes a human being can make is to wrongly portray God. We have to rise above that. We have to be humble in His presence and understand His infinite awe and power and never allow ego and arrogance to make us to raise our heads in Allah's presence. But at the same time, we must never forget that He is the Lord of infinite, incomprehensible love. He created you, He created us out of love and for love. He wants nothing for us other than love. He is infinite love and He said, I want to share that with you. That is why I created. That is why I created you. Because I am this. And I want you to experience. I want to give. I don't need anything from you. Oh, creature. Oh, my servant. I don't need anything from you. But this is the path. This is the means to coming back to me. I've given you life. I've given you choice. I've given you free will. And so I cannot force you to choose love because you will never understand it. You will never understand love unless you choose it. And so I created this. I created you. I created this life in this world so that you can learn to choose love. And the real key to change and transformation is love. So long as we resist ourselves, the way we will only perpetuate our state of unconsciousness and the very things we are unhappy with and resisting. But when you fall in love, everything else falls away. When we fall in love, we are drawn like a magnet towards the one that we love. Nothing else matters. There's no more fight, there's no more resistance. There's no more struggle. We begin to dissolve in that love. Let us turn towards Allah with love, knowing that He is the Lord of love, that He wants us to be with Him, that He wants us to be healed, to be purified, to be whole. And there's nothing we need to do but turn towards Him. We cannot heal. We cannot purify. There's nothing we can do. It is He that does. He is the one that lifts and raises, heals and purifies, that cleanses and forgives. We simply have to turn towards Him and believe that His mercy is continually descending upon us. If we understood the love of God, we would die, truly, in overwhelm. This is what it meant. If he reveals himself to the mountain, the mountain will be turned to dust. That is the power of God's love. And so his love is veiled from us so that we can actually exist and grow and learn incrementally, expand our capacity for love. That is why we are here, brothers and sisters. This entire life is but a lesson in love. That is the purpose of this religion. It's the purpose of this path. Always has been.